All right, so when it comes to smart home lighting, particularly the RGB kind, Govi have been smashing it recently. Now, not too long ago, they sent over two of their new products. One was the Immersion TV LED strips, which I've actually already done a video on, so if you wanna check that out, the link is in the top right of the screen. The second product though are these things. Now these are the Flow Pro light bars. Now if you haven't seen my setup before, I have been a long time user of Philips Hue Play bars, which are these things. I just prefer them to like regular LED strips because the light spread on them is much bigger and they're just much brighter in general. The only downside though is the price. The last time I checked, these things were like $130 for a set of two. And not only do you need the play bars themselves, but you also need the Philips Hue like bridge for them to work which is another $50 so you're looking at upwards of $150 for basically two Philips Hue play bars which is just ridiculous however there weren't really any other alternatives around at the time which just allows Philips to price them at whatever they want until now so like I said these things are the flow pro light bars from Govi and they come out at $70 for the set and they're actually on sale a lot as well, so I think at the moment you can pick them up for $60, which is a bargain. Now, I think you guys can tell where the inspiration has come from, but in some ways, I would actually say the Govi bars offer more features for less than half the price, so let's check them out. So here's what you get in the box. Two LED light bars, two sets of mounting brackets. One set is for if you want the bars standing upright on a desk. The other set is for mounting them to the back of something like a monitor. Here's the included power adapter and inside this box is the microcontroller which is what you'll be plugging the LED bars into. Finally we have a box containing a camera and a few other accessories. These are for the color sense feature which I'll talk more about in a few minutes. So quick comparison, here's the Govi bar next to the Philips bar. Similar size, similar construction. In my opinion, the mounting system on the Govi bar is better. The Philips one requires a screw to attach it to the mount, whereas here we just snap them on nice and easy. Like I said, you can either have them standing upright on your desk facing the wall like this, or you can use the other mounts which have 3M tape on the back so that you can stick them to the back of your monitor. In my opinion, that's the way to go. It just looks much cleaner. As regards setup, you plug the bars into the microcontroller, then you connect the power adapter and hook it up to power. If all you're looking to do is have LED bars that you can change the color of, that's all you need. You don't need to even bother with the camera. Now, of course, they do have app control. So once you've downloaded the Govi app, you just go through the setup, add them to the app, and there you can change the color of the LED bars, along with things like the brightness. You can set timers, try out scenes. It really is a capable app. Now, in terms of brightness, you get a peak output of 400 lumens, which is a little bit less than the 530 lumens offered by the Philips Hue Play Bars. But in my opinion, the customizability of these more than makes up for that. With Philips offering, the bar can only be one color at a time. However, with the Govi bars, each bar can display multiple colors at once. On these bars, you've got things like rainbow waves and gradient effects. It's basically very similar to the functionality that you get with the Govi RGB IC LED strips, just in the form of a bar. The only caveat at the moment is that you can't manually set, for example, half the bar to one color and the other half another color. The multiple colors are currently limited to scenes and DIY effects that move. But hopefully Govi will bring that functionality somewhere along the line with a firmware update. I will mention it to them. I'll tell you a bit more about the color sense feature. So basically Philips Hue Play Bars have this feature where you can boot up the Hue software on your PC and activate a mode which makes the bars match whatever color is being displayed on the screen. If you've ever seen Philips Ambilight TVs, it's essentially the same thing. Now, while that method is mostly software based, Govi have come up with their own version of this technology, but instead using a camera. And it's the same camera that comes included with their LED kit, so the functionality is the same. But yeah, you plug it into the microcontroller, stick it to the top of your monitor, then you stick these orange foam pads onto the screen. These help with getting everything lined up when you're calibrating the camera from inside the app. I cover this in a little bit more detail in my review of the LED strip, so if you want a more in-depth look at the setup, then go check it out. But yeah, here's what the end result looks like. It's certainly not perfect, but it does add some dynamics to what would otherwise just be a static scene. I think the use of this feature with the camera is more suited to something like a TV. I do find it a little bit distracting having a camera on top of my monitor, but that is just how the Govi ColorSense technology works. Honestly, I don't care too much for this feature. It is cool, but I think the only time I would use it would be maybe on the back of the TV while I was watching a movie. Example, I've had the Philips Hue Play Bars on the backs of my monitors for years now. 
And despite it having the Ambilight feature, which works absolutely flawlessly because it's Philips and it does work quite good, I have literally never used it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call this product the Philips Hue Play Bar Killer because it's literally less than half the price. You've got all the colors you could ever want. You can set different parts of the bar to different colors, which you can't do with the Philips Hue Play Bars. That feature in itself makes these more than worth it in my opinion. You've got app control and voice control in addition to the color sense feature. So yeah, for this price, there's nothing to really complain about. Like I said, Govi do have a sale on right now, so you can pick these things up for $60, which coming from somebody who has owned a lot of Philips Hue stuff over the years is an absolute steal. Link in description if you guys do want to check them out. If you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be much appreciated. It helps me out. What do you guys think to these, by the way? Do you think you'd pick some up for your gaming setup? Let me know down below in the comments. You can catch me on social media at Tech Tesseract. With that being said, hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll catch you all in the next one.